Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are here for update three of our Harry Potter project pan. If you like this kind of content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Uh, you give this video a thumbs up, I really appreciate that. And uh, if you want to be alerted every time I put on a video, go ahead and hit the bell. Um, so with all that out of the way, I'm really excited to talk about this update with you. So, uh, information about the project pan, I forget this every single time. This project pen was started by Christina Chang last year, and this year she opened it up to all of her subscribers, so this is the whole reason why I ended up starting my channel a couple months ago. This is a rolling project pan, so there are four different prompts, and as you finish items or reach your goals, you can go ahead and roll new items in. This will go until December 13th, so with all that, let's get into the prompts. We'll talk a little bit. All right, so the, the first prompt is representative of your house. I am a Gryffindor. I've been wearing this lovely red lipstick in all of these videos. Why? Because it's one of the only times during the month that I ever pull it out. And it's a shame because it's so pretty, but it's just so much, for, especially for summertime. Like like this, this really intense pigment is just not a thing that I wear a whole lot. But let's talk a little bit about the lipstick. So here we have the Lasting Finish by Kate. It's a Rimmel lipstick, but this bullet is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And it, it is still so beautiful. It, it's lasted for, I, I, must have ha I must have had this for like for eight years, this lipstick, which uh, I, I, judge me or judge me not. Um, I know it's way longer than you're supposed to have this stuff, but everything has been kind of fine. It doesn't smell funny. It just kind of keeps going. And as long as it's okay, I'm going to keep it. Um, so, I mean, it's got the worst little nubbin of a, <laughs> of a point on there. Makes it pretty hard for me to actually get my Cupid's bow. It's like very difficult for me to do a precise line, but it is what it is. So last month, this weighed in at 13.38 grams. And this month it weighs in at 13.3 grams. I used it five times. Um, my goal on this is to finish it. So 0 0.08 grams of a product used that's not spectacular. Um, it is one more time than I have used it any of the previous months. So I guess we'll take progress where we can get it. Um, and I think when we see the side-by-side -side pictures, I'm thinking we're going to see that this is moving. I don't know that we're going to have this for many more months. I will say, if I get to the end of the year and this is not gone, it's gone. Um, it's just, <laughs> at this point, it's just going to be so little left there. So I think that it'll be safe for this to go away. And I've got many more red lipsticks if I ever find myself in need of one. So that's an item number one. Item number two is Peeves. Peeves is an item that is supposed to be something that maybe you didn't like when you first got it but it's now become something that you love or something, something that's become an integral part of your makeup routine. The item that I chose was the Zodiac Capricorn palette. Uh, what I have grown to love is this beautiful brown, this beautiful brown palette. Uh, I thought it was kind of boring when I first got it. I am pleased to tell you that it's not on my eyes today because over the course of Ju uh, July, over the course of July, I was able to reach my goal of 40 uses. So I am rolling this out of my project pen because I'm tired of you growing every month when I put you on the scale. Like, let's be serious. It actually didn't grow this month. Last month, this weighed in at 137.9 grams. The month before that was 137.8. The month before that was 137.49. This month it is 137.5. So it has gone down 0.4 grams from last month, but it's more or less where it was at the intro. So like, whatever. But in any case, I have used this a total of 40 times. The last time I used it for this project pan was yesterday. And as much as I've enjoyed it, I really only do like two or three looks out of here. And it's a little bit boring for me. So I'm excited to move on from this. The item that I am putting into my project in place of this is the NYX Angel Veil vale Primer. There is not very much. There's, this is marked up here because I was trying to pan this earlier this year. But really, it's down to about here now. And truly, the reason I'm putting this in is not because this particular primer I didn't like, because I'm, I'm still not certain that I like this exact primer, but I kind of thought all primers were unnecessary. And so I wasn't really sold on the idea of primers. I now use a primer almost every single time I put my makeup on. So I guess this is, this is close enough. I'm struggling with this particular prompt, if I'm being completely honest. But I guess it is what it is. Um, so my Angel Veil vale primer, my goal is to finish it because it has so little left. It currently is weighing in at 17.98 grams with the cap, the whole shebang. So I'm going to get rid of this. I'm ready for this to be out of my collection because I started trying to pan it in March 
and I've been lazy about it. So now it's in. Boom. The next prompt is Mrs. Weasley's Christmas sweaters. That is supposed to be a makeup product that makes you feel good. It makes you feel cozy. It makes you feel maybe loved. I don't know. This is this this one's a little bit complicated for me too. But um, for this, because I love, I'm so comforted by the smell. I have chosen the Physician Formula, the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I'm trying to race this in because I'm trying to meet up with a friend and play games tonight. But um, I chose the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I've made some really, really good progress in this over the course of this year. Um, I hit pan on it during quarantine. So this has been, this has been moving. The last time that we weighed it in, it weighed in at 53.52 uh, grams, excuse me. And today it weighed in at 52.51 grams. So a full gram of product used, which is the most that I have done. Yep, it's the most that I've done this entire project. Um, I've been using this a lot. I'm really excited. I think I'm going to hit my goal on this. Um, there's still a good amount of product up here, but I'm probably going to hit some side pan down here soon. I'm trying to use it fairly evenly. I'm not trying to dig for pan, you know? But um, but I think that finishing this by the end of the year is a definite possibility, and that is really exciting for me. And then I have no idea what I, what I will put in this project because I don't know what else feels like Mrs. Weasley's Christmas sweaters. I'll have to figure something out, I guess. All right. The last item in this project pan is my Essence Lash Princess Mascara. This is the, the False Effect Mascara. Boy, is that... <laughs> there is almost no paint or whatever. Like, all the writing on this is totally almost rubbed off. Um, this is probably on its last legs, and I just am refusing to give it up because I just like how it makes my, look, my lashes look so much. Oh, the prompt. Um, this is for the extendable ears. Extendable ears, the reason being, I heard about this from someone else on YouTube and decided I must buy it, despite the fact that I probably already had 10 mascaras unopened in my stash, but I needed this one. Uh, this one has been opened for a good long time. The, the formula is probably a little bit too clumpy, but honestly, I still really like what it's doing to my lashes, um, so I'm not quite ready to give it up yet, but I'm thinking next month is probably the time for me to just toss it because it's been opened for a really long time, and you're supposed to be getting these out of your... Uh, you're supposed to be throwing them away after three to six months. It was a good time. I will repurchase you someday, but not anytime soon. I have plenty of mascara remaining. So, uh, I know that this is a quicker update than usual. I didn't go into quite as much detail about the prompts this time, but again, I'm trying to sneak this in um, before I play some games for the night, see how it all works out. I want to still thank Christina for extending this invitation to all of us. I've had a really good time doing it so far. We're not done yet. We've got four more updates. So that's going to be good times. I'm hoping to roll at least a couple more products out. I'd like to roll out one for every single prompt. We're not quite there yet. We've gotten two out of the four. We're halfway there. We'll see what happens. In any case, I'm going to go ahead and sign off now. But thank you all for joining me today. Again, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Subscribe if you want to see me in your newsfeed and we can hang out a little bit more. Ring the bell if you want to be notified every time. If you like content like this, go ahead. No, let's get the camera. If you like content like this, go ahead and like this video. Subscribe down below. Let's see, we'll see each other again in your. Stop trying to race through it. If you like this kind of content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And we'll see each other in my. Oh, it sounds so stupid. Why are we even saying this? Extendable ears being that something that I heard about something. What am I trying to say? I think that's it. Yes. Update 3. Started in May. Update 1 is June, July, August, and August. We're going to cut that out.